Hello, sharks. My name is Johnny Georges, and I'm the creator of the Tree TP water containment system. I'm asking for $150,000 for 20% of my company. Tree TP is water conservation and frost protection at its finest. Instead of using 25,000 gallons per tree per year, we're now only using 800 gallons per tree per year and doing a better job with a 30% increase in the growth of new trees and letting a farmer get his return on his money a whole lot faster. When good people come together, when good people come together with a noble cause, great things happen. And water conservation is what Tree TP is all about. Can you tell us how it works? The normal. All right. So, they, 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 like, when we get frozen up, when we get locked up, just just got to calm down, right? You know, sometimes the pressure is there to want to speed up, to, like, talk faster and put ourselves in a position that, you know, makes it sound like we're, we're, we're like, getting back on track fast. But the reality is that sometimes that doesn't always uh, that doesn't always work for everybody, right? I, I I think that sometimes when you're when you're up against something and it's like, well, we need to do more of it, go harder, go faster. Sometimes you gotta slow down, take stock of where you're at, take a breath, look around the room, make it look like you took that dramatic pause on purpose. Um, clearly, you know, Johnny had like a, a brain fart or something, or they edited it to look that way. I, I don't know. I'd like to think that Johnny just had a, had a brain fart and it's, it, Hey, it happens to the best of us. Right. So let's, let's see. I, I, I love the idea of conserving water. Uh, if you don't know, there is a huge water crunch, uh, here, especially here in the States going on all across the country. Um, and, and the, and the world. Um, and meanwhile, our seas are rising. It's like water, water everywhere. Why don't we just take a drink? Can't drink that water. Um, and we can't really use that water to grow trees with, but I think that any kind of water conser conservation that we can do, especially as farmers, uh, to get the most out of the water that we do utilize, I think is, is really great. And there's, if you haven't looked up, um, heard about like what's going on in Colorado with the Colorado river and like the water rights there, uh, go and check it out. It's, it's fascinating. Um, the rules that they've set it, that have been in place for like a hundred years and it's starting to look like maybe they should change said rules, but we ha haven't gotten there yet and they continue to look, um, you know, issues in the face 10 years from now, 20 years from now, not a hundred years from now, you know, 150 years from now, this is uh, very much a problem. That's our problem today, not a problem down the, in the future. So, uh, awesome. Love that. Love the valuation, uh, assuming that there's sales and that this isn't a, uh, pipe dream or, or just getting, just getting rolling. Obviously this episode, uh, is from season five. It was suggested uh, by one of you in the super community. I'll be featuring one of your comments from down below at the end of this video. I think this was actually emailed into me uh, asking for me to do this. So if you have a suggestion, either drop it in the comments below or go to my site, joepardo.com <coughs> and get yourself a, uh, go to the contact form and send me a message and I'll do my best to get it in the request form. God, I can't <coughs> breathe. Okay. Uh, <laughs> with that said, uh, we're going to check out Johnny's website and social media uh, today to see, check and see how he's doing at the end of the video as well. It's been, it's been without any kind of containment. A farmer would crank on his pumps and run them 10 hours, 12 hours. With the tree TP, you contain the water around each tree in about 30 minutes. You're going to have three inches of rain on this tree. And, and if I pull this tree TP off, we're watering nine feet that way and nine feet that way. And it's just really wasting the water. About 10% gets to the tree. And nobody so figured out a way to make a nozzle that shoots down towards the tree roots? Yes, sir, but you still get the wind diffusion from that. So I put an irrigation line on every tree. That's what's yes, happening. And right now, before the tree TP, I was putting 25,000 gallons a year onto that tree. Yes, sir. Now I buy the tree TP. Yes, sir. I only put 800 gallons. Yes, sir. So I'm wow. saving a lot of money in fuel, in, in fuel and water. 
Yeah, yeah, pumping it's it's pump, not, it's it's pumping big... the water to the tree costs me dollars, electricity. Yes, sir. Yeah, okay. Electricity or fuel. And the water itself I got to pay. Yes. No, you don't have to pay for the water in the state of Florida. In California, you do. But you're selling the TTP in California, right? Uh, but I'm only selling in a five-county area in the state of Florida. How much does it cost to make? Oh, come on. Don't all look surprised. Look, we're co they come to the Shark Tank looking for an investment and looking for knowledge knowledge to get to go in the direction of how to blow it up big um having something that can sell in in the five county area that's awesome that's luck he um johnny i assume <clears throat> or i think he might have said has his own farm as well right he created this out of necessity it was it uh, necessity is the mother of all invention so if with that being said like he doesn't necessarily have the the marketing expertise or the thought power the, you know the thought to be able to get it produced mass produced get it into markets and and give up on the farm and and everything he's doing to go make this a, a potential reality without having the guidance because he can't necessarily afford to make missteps uh like having the funding that you would have from an outside investor a shark uh or otherwise uh to be able to go and do it so uh, you know, a savings of, of like 24,000 gallons per tree is phenomenal. Um, and, and while you don't have to pay for water in the state of Florida, I don't know if that's still true. Uh, you know, state, but I could see this being a problem, uh, in, in states like Colorado, where we talked about earlier about how, you know, they only get to, they, like, if they don't use the water, they have to lease the water out or sell the water out from under their, 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 their water rights, or else they, they are threatened to lose those water rights. I want to say it's like five to seven or eight years or something. So if you stop farming or start cutting back on how much water, that's why they, in Colorado, it's almost encouraged that you plant these, these plants that require a tremendous amount of water, uh, to, 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 to have those crops um, so that you're using all of the, every bit of the water that your rights are guaranteed. But the problem is they're over, they're over using the water. So um, I, I, I mean, I, I don't think that it's unreasonable for him to be there and be like, yeah, we're selling them and we're only selling them five counties. And I bet you he's going to sell a lot of them because each, um, each farm is going to have tons and tons of trees that it's going to have uh, to, you know, to take advantage of. 295. 295? Yes. 295. How many have you made and how many have you sold and what do you sell them for? Okay, I have made uh, 127,500 TPs. I'm selling them uh, to for an average for 450 each. How much? Four dollars and fifty cents each. Okay. I make a dollar each. So you so, sell direct uh, to the farm? Yes, sir. So you don't have any distributors in there? No, sir. Johnny, do you have a patent on this? Yes, sir. I have a utility going? patent. How, how long does it usually last? One season? No, sir. We leave them on for five years. Yeah, that never can stay on for five years? Yes, sir. These things last over 20 years. Okay. How okay, so with that said, the value that it's bringing, I mean, alone, I get why Johnny was only selling it for a dollar over his cost. That ain't going to do it, right? And that's part of the reason that the Sharks... Yeah, that's part of the reason why he needs a Shark, to help explain, like, yeah, a dollar per is great, but... There's a reason why you'll never be able to make enough money doing it this way to get to where you want it to be. Now, he's made 127,000 units. That's, I mean, ding, ding, that is phenomenal. To make 120,000 of anything is incredible. So let's take that. Uh, let's beef up the margin a little bit. See, what can we do to get that price down, though, at 127,000 made? If his cost is 295, I tend to think that there probably isn't that much more you could come down on. Um, I mean, maybe at 250,000, he could get it down like another 25 cents or something like that. Um, or even a million units. I mean, a million units doesn't seem like it'd be unreasonable to be able to get. And then to say, oh yeah, and this will last like 20 years. I mean, even at $7 a piece, like how, like, yeah, it makes, makes perfect sense. How long have they been on? What's the oldest one out there? 1984. Still Woo! out there. My father was an innovator in the irrigation world. We used to bank trees to make a long one short. What that means is we'd take a shovel before the freeze night and cover the trees up with dirt. After the freeze, we'd go pull them off. We were out in the grove, and I said, Dad, can we do something different? So he came up with a little bitty teepee we'd put on for that night and then pull it off the next day. So I look at him, and I go, let's make these things bigger. And we can leave them on year round. Look at the water we could save. Well, in 1984, he looked at me and said, oh, you're crazy. Water's cheap, you know. 
Doesn't matter. That's changed. <laughs> that has changed a lot. Having any distributors come to you and say, we want to sell this or we want to distribute it for you, we can take it way outside of Florida? Well, have you not called on any of them? I haven't called on any of them. Again, this is why this is why he's here. It's because he needs uh, somebody to help him do that. This is in addition to what he's doing, uh, I, I presume, right? Uh, as it, more so than just this is him running, you know, off and running. And I mean, heck, if you can, you know, three dollars, if he could sell them for for six dollars direct, he, you know, he's gonna make his, he's gonna make the money to be able to fund this and keep it rolling. Um, if he gets, I, I don't know how much more you could really. You know, I, I don't know. I mean, if you sold it like on your website and you sold it, say, for $10 per, there's probably a lot of people that would be interested in getting one uh, for their house, right? Like for the couple of trees they're trying to build it, uh, grow right around their house. Um, and then, you know, you have your, your bulk, your price, you know, bulk pricing and get it down to maybe, you know, like the $6 range. And if you get that much in, uh, you know, that mass produced and you get the cost down to like a dollar per. I mean, if you can go to the dollar store and get yourself a, uh, a laundry basket, <laughs> I mean, you know, not, it's not the best little laundry baskets, but it's a, it's a basket. It's pla you know, it's plastic. Um, I would tend to think that you, you know, for, for a dollar 50 or $2, you could probably get, you know, get it done. Do you know what your market is? Do you In know Florida, how many? I do. Yes, ma'am. But we have 42 nurseries. 19 are commercial. The rest are private with growers growing their own trees. And those are the only people you've sold to? Yes, sir. Just the people you've done irrigation with? Just the people with. I know. Wow. This last freeze, I go out to a grove. I put out five teepees. This woman gets out, and she walks up to me, and she says, you're trespassing in my grove. And I said, yes, ma'am, but I'm trying to show you something that's getting ready to freeze. We have the best frost protection device on the market right here we could put on. And, and she says, you've got to go. I'm calling the police. And I said, yes, ma'am, here's my card. I'm sorry. You know, because these are farmers. This is their land. This is their livelihood. So a week later, I get a call from the same woman. Hey, Johnny, this is Mrs. I said, yes, ma'am. She says, I want to pay you for them five TPs. And I said, yes, ma'am. That's OK. Don't worry about it. She says, well, I want you to bring me 4,995 more. The only wow. five trees I got alive today. Wow. And Let's my home go. Is these. Is there anything like this on the market? No, sir. There's no water containment system out there for the micro sprinklers. Why only five? It seems like a slam dunk. I, you know, I, I feel like the shark should already be offering money at this point. Like this, it just makes so much sense. Just so much sense. Get to the how much money do you owe? Do you do you have any debt? Like what are we what are we doing here? He's not even asking for that much money. It's one hundred fifty thousand dollars. It's it's. I mean that's not that it's nothing, but that's not a lot of money. And he's giving up twenty percent to do it. Dollars. Why not charge twelve dollars? Ten or twelve or fifteen or because 20. I'm working with farmers and they're buying. They're not buying one. They're buying twenty. Still, why not seven thousand? Ten thousand, sir. Even even a ten thousand, right? Why not seven dollars? Well, I've never done that. I've always tried to be right. I make a dollar off each one. If I, I sold seven thousand yesterday, I made seven. Johnny, grand. you you could see a partner that let's say I was a big distributor of water irrigation systems, and I see this product and you show it to me, and you make it for two dollars and fifty cents, and you sell it for five, right? I'm, I'm making it for two ninety five. Yeah. I sell them for four fifty. Okay, so I can't get involved with you because there's not enough margin for me as a distributor. I need to be able to sell it for $12 at least so that I can make some profit and you can make some profit, right? Because I'm now we're, there's two of us, two mouths to feed. Yeah, but you're selling the farmers. Okay, I get it, but I'm exploring where your head's at, all right? Okay. That means that there's no room in it for a distributor that can really scale this out because you said every farmer should have it. Every farmer every, in America does Every like tree that goes in the have ground it. should have but a tree. But in order for that to happen, I need a lot of Johnnies. There's only one of you. I need like... 2,000 Johnnies calling on farmers all across the land. Well, now, who's going to pay them, Johnny? Who's going to pay them? I'm yeah, all right, hold on. No, no, come on. All right, look, I I understand the idea of, of getting it up to like $10 or $12. I think that where Johnny's coming from is, is his heart's in the right place, and he's not wrong. Um but I, I think that there's a big middle ground that we're ignoring here. <laughs> like, you know, I get it. You're making a dollar per, um, and that works for Johnny, right? Because it's just him going out, and he's selling them. And, you know, I sold, uh, you know, 7,000 units. I made $7,000. How great is that, right? Um, 
Yeah, it, 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 there's a there's definitely a middle ground there. Like I was saying, I I think if you get to like six dollars a piece, uh, and your cost is three, you're now you you have some room to to work with it, right? Now, with that said, is it going to, you know, at the end of the day, is it is it really gonna is that extra dollar uh, dollar fifty gonna make that big of a difference to the farmer? For, I'm gonna go on a limb and say probably not, um, because I tend to think that and this might be a little early on in when this when this came out but i would tend to think if you go to any state that's having any kind of water crunch and say hey we're getting these guess what the state's going to say ding 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 we're going to we're going to make this happen right let's let's get you some tree tree tps and we're going to subsidize a dollar 50 per or 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 2 dollars per so now all of a sudden it's like oh well you know if we sell it for like 7 dollars or the base price is 8 dollars and and then you you have that that subsidy right go and go and get that subsidy uh, go to the states lobby for that subsidy you know this is stuff that would come with having a, an investor or somebody making those phone calls um, because you're it, it's a win win right and he's got the patent for it I mean it's it's really like it's mind boggling to me that the sharks have not jumped in on this. Johnny? Yes, sir. Farmers are the cornerstone of America. There may be a lot of farmers out there that can't afford $12 per tree, but maybe they could afford $6 or $7. I'm going to give you everything you're asking for, your $150,000 for 20%. What you're doing is right, and you deserve the chance to make it big and do a lot of good. I'd like to be your partner, Johnny. I like everything you stand for, man, and Thank I you, like partner. Your, everything. <laughs> I think that's a yes, JP. Yes, sir. Okay, man. Good for you. Right. Yeah, All there's right. a lot of God awkward silence. Thank you. Thank you. All right, dude. Love it. Well it. done, partner. I'll All be right. a good one, too. I Let's love go. that you care about the farmer. Johnny, tell your dad he's a great man. He died 12 years ago. Oh. He's still a great man. He made me who I am. <laughs> we work hard every day. I worked for that man for 20 years. I thank God that I got to work with that man. He's an innovator. He taught me everything I know. He was hard on us, but nobody owes you nothing. Life is what you make it. He taught me that. And he was a great man. He came from nothing. You're a star, Johnny. Man, yeah. congratulations. Thank Superstar, you. dude. God bless you, right, Johnny. Man. Thank you. Come here today and go in front of the sharks. I didn't have a clue that it was going to be like that, you know. Uh, I'm going home with a billionaire for a business partner. It's all good, bro. <laughs> you know, I mean, it doesn't get any better than that. You know, I, I wish there was more. Um, I wish there was more Johnnies in the world. I wish there. I really, Johnny. I would love to have you come on the show and uh for an interview and we'll chat and talk about your experience and all that um just drop a comment down below uh will make that happen but now we're gonna check out your website um which the i love the saves water and protects trees uh from frost it shows the product at the look i normally here we love to see people uh faces hands people enjoying the product and and i would like to hopefully when i scroll down we'll see that uh one thing i will point out though is it's a little hard to read the saves water and protects trees part it doesn't really stand out from the background uh too much unfortunately but it looks like you know he's still going tree tp is a product of gsi supply inc was established in 2005 by Johnny. Uh, Johnny is the son of Rick George's. Very cool. So buy a tree. How much? Uh, let's see. What's what are tree TPs going for nowadays? Ten dollars. There we go. So obviously, I I would tend to think, and it's 100% recycled plastics. That's incredible. That double dipping on the awesomeness there. Um. So yeah, ten dollars. Now what I don't see is is any bulk pricing. Uh, only 15 reviews, surprisingly, going back to 2019. I wonder if there was like a site redone, like the site was redone or something like that. Uh, I see there's a, a tree, uh, tree TP University. Why well, should you use a tree P? Uh, oh, say, so it's not actually, so it's just a page explaining why you should utilize it and how it's going to uh, protect your your investment, right, in those in those trees and the and what comes from them. But uh, so let's go over to 
Facebook where we have something going wrong, apparently. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, yeah, we'll go over to Twitter. Uh, the tweets are protected. There's a picture of oh, Johnny and JP right there. Uh, four followers, 72 following. Uh, and then over on Instagram, maybe I need to refresh that. We'll go over here to Facebook. So we got 61,721 people uh, liking the page, which is great to see. Uh, April 21st was the last time they posted. We got a little bit of engagement going on there. Let's see what we got over on Instagram. So it uh, looks like, well, this 294 weeks ago, uh, Entrepreneur Society of America, the ESOA, uh, they posted about that. So it's been a while, 1,800 followers there. It looks like primarily they're doing their their best work over on Facebook uh, with a little bit of engagement, but a whole lot of likes, which is uh, pretty cool. And I, I assume the deal went through because they, you know, the, even April 13th, JP's Peace, Love, and Happiness Foundation uh, they were posting about, which is pretty pretty cool so anyway johnny i'd love to have you come on talk about your your business and how things have been going since uh your shark tank experience so drop a comment down below like jasmine here says thank you for making these videos your commentary is useful well i appreciate you jasmine for being a part of the super community uh and learning with us and and just enjoying these videos as much as i'm enjoying getting to put them together and having you join us so anyway i'll see you in one of these two videos over here take care and go be super